My name is Lisa Ross, though you may know me better as Paper Daisy Creations, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this sand dollar stitch. Now for the most part, it's really easy. You're just going to be working over these three stitches and for most of the rounds, you're at, most of the rows, you're actually going to just be um, working them in stockinette stitch. But there's one special stitch that we're going to do and that is to create this little wrap right here and create the hole that you find in the sand dollars. So what I'm going to do is First of all, I have an edge stitch to work, and next comes my purl. And now I'm ready to work the cluster stitch. So in order to do this, I'm working using these three stitches right here, the next three on the needle, and you can see those are part of the sand dollar. Those same three stitches are used all the way throughout. You don't need to um, cable or anything. We're just going to do this simple method to create those sand dollars. And here's what we do. You're going to take the third stitch from the needle and lift it over the first two stitches on the needle. So I'm going to take that third stitch and lift it over and off. It will go over these first two stitches and it will create a wrap. Now be sure that the first two stitches stay on your needle and you should have this lovely little wrap right here. Now I'm going to be working those two stitches as a knit, yarn over, knit. And that's it. The next three rows will all be stockinette and I'll be ready to wrap my stitch once again. I'm going to go ahead over to my next sand dollar and show you that one more time. There are, there is a column of garter stitch ribbing in between those sand dollars and there are some purl stitches right next to each sand dollar. I see my three stitches for the sand dollars. I lift the third stitch over the first two, keep those first two on the needles, and now I work those first two stitches as knit, yarn over, knit. I work my purl one, knit three, purl one, and my sand dollars are ready to roll once again. I use these three stitches, check to make sure they're all in line, lift the third stitch over the first two. Those first two stay on the needle, and I knit, yarn over, knit. Let me show you that one more time. I will purl one, knit three, purl one, and now I'm going to lift the third stitch over the first two stitches, knit, yarn over, knit, and I'm ending this swatch. So as you can see, that creates this wrapped stitch right here or that wrapped cluster of stitches, and it creates a hole right in the center. So as I'm working those stitches along the back, I'm going to continue working the columns between the sand dollars in girder stitch. So on the back of the work, those will be knit. My purl stitches on the back, these columns of purls adorning each side of the sand dollars, those are going to be knit in stockinette on the back, so those are worked as knit stitches. And then the, um, the sand dollars themselves are also worked in stockinette, which will be purled across the back and knit across the front. So for three of the rows that you work the sand dollars, it will be worked in stockinette, and then you're going to just work that special stitch, the cluster three, every um, fourth row, and you will have some beautiful sand dollars. You can find this pattern on paperdaisycreations.com or you can find it on Ravelry. You can follow the links below. Um, and I wish you all very happy knitting.